Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday. <laughs> I forgot what today was. Anyways, I had a doctor appointment yesterday, and I, so um, I went by Hobby Lobby because I was in the same town where Hobby Lobby is. And sorry for the shadows. <laughs> I don't have a good place to film right now because Jesse's watching uh, TV in the living room that has music on it, so I can't record in there at the table where I, I usually do. Anyways, I got a little tiny Hobby Lobby haul. <laughs> I already knew I wasn't going to participate in this year's clearance sale hugely because one I have a ton of yarn <laughs> and I don't want to add to that right now because I'm trying to use up a lot of what I have. I've been gifted a lot of yarn lately and I'm just trying to go through it. And two, um, we're trying to save for house so every extra money that I get I would rather put in our savings account for that instead of buying yarn. It's just gonna sit there for a year or so. <laughs> so but I did buy some yarn and I also bought something else. But I went through the yarn aisles and I just looked at it all and there wasn't really that many on markdown this year that I was interested in anyways. Like in the years past I felt like there was more yarns that I uh, wanted <laughs> and this time I only found one uh, color and type of yarn that I really wanted to buy because I thought I'd make a really cute blanket. So it is some of the Premier Bloom, I think it's chunky, yeah the stickers over it. <laughs> and it says self striping floral print 109 yards 100% acrylic it's number five and it was $3.99 but it was marked down to 99 cents each so it's this one let's see here what's the color name daisy I got it because I thought it would be a good gender neutral color for a baby blanket gift let's see here yeah right here shows kind of how it works up but I don't know if that's you know it depends on what pattern you make of how that would work up but anyways I got all six that were there <laughs> they're there they really didn't have that many. I mean, I'm sure other people had um, gotten there before I did because I wasn't checking a lot for it. I was last week. I was super interested in it. And then I was thinking about a house and all that. You know, I want to buy a house. <laughs> so um, I decided I would look. But I didn't want to buy a whole buggy full like I normally do. So uh, I just found this yarn. thought it would be a cute blanket gift in the future. And uh, I got all that was there. There was only six balls of it. There was a few other colorways of this on sale too. But they only had a couple balls each. And I wanted one that I can make a blanket with. So that's 100, what? 109 yards each, so uh, 600 and what, 45 uh, yards. So that's good enough to make a, a, blank, a baby, blah, blah, baby blanket. <laughs> then I also went over to the bead section because I had seen online that um, some of the leather working stuff was on clearance too. It wasn't at ours, but they did have some of the beads marked down again. They marked them down earlier this year, too, and I got some. <laughs> but um, they had different brands of them marked down this time. So I did find this cute Lava Rock heart and, um, pendant, <laughs> and I wanted to buy it. It was originally $4.99. It was marked down to $1.24. And I just like it. I really like stones, and I have a big piece of Lava Rock somewhere. <laughs> and I just thought this would be a cute necklace. So I want to get a chain or something and make it like one of those long necklaces that hang down real far. <laughs> I thought it was really pretty. I can't talk. I'm tired. <laughs> I've been running a ton of errands today. And I'm tired. But yeah, so that's all the yarn I got. I'm pretty proud of myself because there was a ton on clearance and I didn't go through there buying it all. I just got the ones I wanted and I was happy with that. I'll throw these in the laundry basket. Ugh. I'm in Jesse's room now. This is where my yarn used to be that I filmed in front of before we got him this new bed. That's what's making the shadow. It's a bunk bed. And, um... So he needs a bigger bed, and now I don't have the space to record in here, <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, so I also got some Happy Mail recently. I'm really hoping I didn't mix these cards up. I hope I didn't. Let me read this one real quick. I'm pretty sure this goes to this book. I got both of these in the same day, and I opened them, of course, because it's Happy Mail. You rip into it. <laughs> and um, I think I got the cards with the right one. I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> so um this first one is from terry and i don't remember where she lives because i threw away the envelope <laughs> but i got the card and it's not terry from yarn joy it's a different terry oh gosh it's glary i got this really pretty card with a nice note written in it Ooh. she also sent along some stickers for jesse and but he's got them in the living room and he likes sticking stickers on everything <laughs> but she sent me this amigurumi book which is, is actually on my wish list so it's cool i can delete that now but it is a leisure arts book designed by a name I can't say. I'll show it to you. <laughs> so, and it's called Icebox Crochet. So here's the designer's name. I don't want to mess it up. But it's got over 40, I think it says. Over 45 adorable 
patterns. So it's got the pattern to make the ice box and all this food. <laughs> Super cute. Lots of patterns in there that I will definitely be doing. <laughs> I already flipped through a bunch of times, so I'm excited about getting that. I've had that on my wish list for a while, so I'm super excited about that. If I can find it anywhere online, I will link it below for you guys to check it out. But I'm not sure if I can. <laughs> I'll try. All right, the next one was another. I got these same day. I thought it was so funny <laughs> that two different people thought kind of similar thoughts. This one is from Mary. She sent me a real pretty uh, note on stationery that's got flowers on it. I don't want to show you the note. I like keeping my notes private. I put that there and this is a crochet magazine it's crochet now I couldn't I was trying to look I think it's from February so I can't find the date <laughs> I know sometimes I don't the spines of magazines it says issue 64 but um, it has stuff in it about uh, Valentine's Day and stuff so I'm thinking it might be from around February but here it is it's got a lot of cute patterns in it I really love this blanket pattern there's a little fox. There's a lot of really cute patterns in here. I might, I'll definitely show you guys when I have a better setup. When I can set in the table, I'll show you all the patterns that's in here. Because there's a lot of really nice ones. There's that blanket bigger. It's like a hex. What's it, what's it called again? It's called Cornflower Hexies Blanket. But what's cool is I was looking in this and on like the a little ways into it it's got a little thing here with melody in it for melody crochet <laughs> she's one of the first crocheters i ever started watching on youtube um went like five or six years ago i came across her uh youtube i'm pretty sure so that was cool to see her in there but it came with that and then also a little extra pattern book that has adorable emigrant collection <laughs> it says 11 patterns so it's got these cute all these cute little patterns in it and I have some more. That's so awesome. I love doing Amigurumi. And I'm actually going to start some soon. I want to make this. It'd be fun to make all of this. But I don't know if Jesse would play with the icebox. I'm thinking he'd probably tear it up. Because he's really bad at keeping things like that together. He likes the food. He likes playing with play food. We have a big container of it. I might try to make that. I don't know. I don't know if he would. Because I feel like it'd be a lot of work. And then for him to not use it right. <laughs> but all the food is so cute. I want to make all the food. There is a beer can, which I thought was weird, <laughs> if it's meant to be food or toys. So I would probably not make the beer can because uh, I don't want to. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you so much to both of you for sending me these beautiful pattern books. I can't wait to rip into them. I love getting these crochet magazines. I'm just a little cheap. Sometimes I don't want to because like they're $15 <laughs> and some of them are more than that. Like when you go to Joann's and stuff. So I, I, there has to be a lot of patterns in there that I really want to make or I, I'm not going to buy it. But look at this cute little baby sweater thing. That is so cute. <laughs> I don't know who I'd give it to, but I want to make one just because it's so stinking cute. It is so cute. So many cute patterns in here. Yeah, I'll try to show you guys a flip through of that soon whenever I can record at the table. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all I had to share with you guys today. And uh, I do want to show you, I am working on, where's my hook? There it is. I'm working on my remote caddy. That's how far I got. <laughs> I love this color. Like, I wasn't so sure about it when it was in cake, but I love the way it's looking worked up. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to make the pockets with this, but I have a color of Red Heart that is really similar to this pink color that if I have to, I'll just make the pockets out of that. But it's getting there. I'm trying to just use up this whole cake and hopefully it'll be the right size. If not, I'll just add some other yarn to it. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to hang over the side of my couch to put a remote in. <laughs> but that's what I'm working on. I'm going to try to get that done today. I'm going to try to. <laughs> and then I want to finish up my uh, 4th of July table runner I've been working on forever. I want to hurry and get that done because it's just sitting there waiting to be done. <laughs> And uh, I want to work on an amigurumi. So I'm going to probably try to find a cute amigurumi to make. Yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> let me guys know. Oh, let me guys. Let me know if you guys have gotten any of the Hobby Lobby yarn. Did you go crazy or did you just get a few like I did? And um, yeah. Uh, last year and the year before that I went crazy. I bought like a whole buggy full. But um, I learned from that that I don't really use it that much. So I didn't want to hoard it this year. <laughs> Let's other people get it, you know. But I'm happy with what I got. And I'll make a blanket on that eventually to go into my gift pile. So. I'm happy. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here because my feet are going to sleep the way I'm sitting. I'm sitting on my knees. <laughs> and I will see you guys in another video. So, bye guys.